The future of mental superpowers with wearables via the power of neuroscience and consumer electronics, we will routinely use wearables to relax, energize, sleep, and focus before this decade ends. These functional wearables will provide direct, drug-free ways to access de desirable states, moods, and modes that are biologically hardwired. And here to tell us all about this is Issy Goldwasser, CEO of Think. Please join me in welcoming Issy to the stage. Thank you. Got it? Thank you. Okay. Hi, good afternoon. Uh, we are going to talk about the future of wearables today, and it is about superpowers. I think all great technologies in the end are all about superpowers, how we feel when we use them and what they can do for us. And wearables are no different. We are all um, aware of wearables. They really are at a stage where we use them to track information, and we hope we, that we track more interesting information over time. But they make the invisible visible. They tell us how active we are now, how we sleep, or how long we sleep. And in the future, they'll do much more. But the area we're going to talk about today is um, completely new. It's about using our heads uh, with our wearables. So that the wearable gives us direct access to our own mind and body so that we can actually use more of our minds and bodies on demand. So the category, you could view it as functional wearables. And it's a very young industry um, with more and more companies entering the, this world. At Think, we use neurosignaling. So we signal nerves that trigger a physiological response. I'll talk a lot about that. But basically, I think what we care about is how do we help you trigger a physical state, a mental state, or an ability directly using technology without using drinks or pills. There's a company named Halo Neuroscience. Um, they're launching a product this fall. It's a headset that stimulates your motor, motor cortex above your head. It's a strip, really. And again, very low levels of electrical stimulation, tingling. And what it does, it's neuropriming. So it's trying to accelerate, facilitate how you learn. And it's going to be launched for mainly elite athletes um, who want to get an extra edge. And that extra 3 4 5% matters so much to them. There's a company called Nirvana launching a product also later this year. Nirvana makes earbuds that stimulate nerves inside your ear that stimulate your pleasure center so you can enjoy your music more. All these companies are working off the same principle. How can we use technology to access something we want on demand as a wearable instead of a drink or a pill? When it comes to think, we want to use our wearables as really, think of them as digiceuticals, as replacements for caffeine, for alcohol, for sleeping pills, so that you can energize, focus, just feel good, you know, motivate yourself before a workout, unwind after work, or just an off button before bedtime to get better sleep. This ability to trigger your physical states relating to energy and calm and focus, self-control, is really fundamental to how all of us live our days. And frankly, for many people, it's transformative if you can, you can access those at will. And coping with stress and the stresses of life really um, underpin many people's days and weeks and months. Uh, we know that because the, the market for products in terms of drinks and pills is just gigantic. A big chunk of this market is entertainment, just having fun. But a, a, you know, a, a meaningful part of it is all about just dealing with stresses, finding energy, finding a way to let go and release, finding a way to sleep better because you're, you can't quiet your mind or you know, are too stressed at night. With the technology we have, we can barely put it down for, you know, for enough time to get enough sleep. And most people don't get enough sleep or rest or really learn how to relax and let go um, fully on a daily basis. We see now the area of sleep is coming to the forefront. Uh, monthly, there are important studies um, 
I would say, you know, important books written by celebrities even uh, that, that we look at. All about the fact that we need more sleep, that sleep is an epi you know, sleep dep deprivation is an epidemic. And we know that. We track the data in the U.S. We also know that the number of uh, prescriptions are just climbing steadily and they're just almost out of control in terms of addiction for sleeping aids. And wearables are playing a, you know, a, more, a more direct role now in helping everyone be aware of their sleep and tracking their sleep. And of course, those wearables uh, are educating consumers at large because there really is no good solution to sleeping more. Um, it really comes down to prescriptions and trying to incorporate meditation or cognitive behavioral therapy in your life. But there's no question that sleep deprivation is a major issue and a huge opportunity for any technology that can directly help people sleep. So I think we started four years ago and our, our company is really based on science. We spent uh, two and a half years developing the first wearable technology and then the wearable itself that modulates your physiology, that takes stimulation, electrical stimulation, activates nerves on your head and neck, and that, that those nerves basically activate your body to relax or energize. This leads to lower stress and better sleep. And I'm going to describe how we know this. And it accumulates. So the, the more you use it more routinely, the better the effects are. You just have overall lower stress, overall better sleep, overall more energy all without drinks or pills. And this technology is FDA exempt. That means we approach the FDA and because we have a low risk technique and we are fully a lifestyle product, they said we did not or should not go through the medical device regulatory process. So we are a consumer product and you can buy our first product at our site at Think, which I'll show you, and on Amazon. So, what does it mean to be based in science and to develop something as, as important and, you know, um, as a new category of a product? How do you do that? Uh, in a world, frankly, that's filled with so many claims. Um, people don't know what's real and what's not real. How do you convince yourself you have something important and, and long-term is going gonna, is gonna to build a category? For us, that meant running a lot of experiments on um, subjects over years. So. What I'm showing you here are these curves. Basically, the gray curve is a placebo control group, and the blue curve is an active group on a scale of 1 to 10 that basically rate a level of calm um, for, our, for our vibes, we call it calm vibes. And when we started uh, three years ago, those curves completely overlapped. So when we took academic literature, the best that was known from the best universities in the world, and we tested it, it was a very small or no effect. And it took us two and a half years to innovate, to find the protocols, the parameters, the locations that separated these curves out. We also took great care, did biomarker work, biometrics work, and published papers, which I'll mention later in the talk. But fundamentally, we proved to ourselves and then published and proved to anyone who wants to look at the science that this is real. So our first generation product was launched last year. It got a lot of awareness. You can search Think and find a number of reviews, uh, all types of reviews, and, ex and just coverage of the product. It's based on a, on a set of uh, choices we call vibes, which are either calm vibes or energy vibes. You choose the one you need or want, and it works best if you first practice to kind of tune it to yourself, and then you you find a regular use or pattern of usage for the product. And within one week, you have great effects, again, for sleep, stress, or energy. But it does take effort. It's a first-gen product. It means you have to put effort to learn, to practice. And for those motivated to replace pills and drinks, it's really a godsend, a, real, a, a true innovation. The system itself is a wearable um, with a consumable and, of course, the app that controls it. The wearable itself, I've got one here. It's right here. It's a kind of a oyster shaped. And you wear it with a consumable that allows you to just apply it on your, on your temple. And it, there's another piece that either goes behind your ear or behind your neck. So what you do is you take Think, you snap it onto the consumable, you turn on your app, you just put it on, 
You wear it, you, apply, you, you run a vibe for 10 minutes, and you take it off. You only use it when you need it. it. The effects last about an hour, and you get yourself into that either very relaxed or more energetic mode. And our customers taught us a lot these past nine months. So we've now sold roughly about 10,000 uh, systems. Um, on Amazon, we have this really kind of bipolar uh, you know, profile. We have over you know, about half the, the customers rated five stars and about a third or two, a third rated one to two stars. And the, the difference is very simple. People who practice and really put the effort in get so much out of this product and the people who expect it to work in five minutes struggle with it. And that's really been our fault. We have to do a better job of educating people and setting the right expectations. But it is remarkable to have half the people who try this product think about it. You're pushing a button and you're changing how you feel. That is crazy, right? To be able to do that directly without a drink or a pill, you can affect how you feel, your energy levels, and how relaxed you are. The data is built up. We have now over 110,000 sessions. That's millions of, of minutes running our programs um, across the 10,000 customers. Slight preference for the average customer for Calm Vibes, but I'll show you something about our top 10% customers in just a minute. We have ratings. It's a connected product. We know on aggregate, when we take all the data, we know on average what the user base is doing in terms of when they prefer to use Vibes, uh, what time of the day, what kinds of vibes, how long, how they rate them, et cetera. It's a new frontier. Um, you know, here are quotes. I, you can go to Amazon, just look at them. It's really fascinating to read how people replace drinks and pills with a wearable. Again, it's a whole new category. Whether it's Think or anyone else, this is inevitable. We are going to use wearables to access more of our minds and bodies. We just will. And we want to be, of course, the leader doing that. So as you read the quotes, really what you, what you find is um, how people can, can, for the first time, you know, think of their days differently. Just have cut back on alcohol by half if you drink a lot. Cut back on caffeine, so no PM caffeine. Stop your sleeping pills. You know, the kind of changes that are massive to people who are in these situations. I'll actually skip this slide because of time, uh, but this slide is really more about comparing different metrics like the, that are public about Fitbit with Think and kind of active users, but I'll move on to another slide. So our top 10% customers have a clear preference, a sort of two-to-one preference of calm vibes to energy vibes. So our top 10% users really use uh, vibes for sleep and stress, usually in the evenings. I would say that's our, our number one use case. Um, you know, in and out is that one, and um, we, we've learned from that. Another very important thing, so here I'm showing you, in, it's a profile, we have a seven point rating system, and that's what you see on the x-axis. And what you see in the, the y-axis is the distribution of, the, of users, so um, you take 100% of users, and, and, and for blue and red, I'll describe them in a, in a moment, they, they get dispersed across uh, these ratings. The, the uh, average users are in red, and those are the ratings that they give the product uh, over time. I'm oh, sorry, on day one, um, excuse me, over time. And actually, I don't have the chart here because it's too messy, but the very first day people use our product, the average user and the top 10% users give it almost identical ratings. But if you look at what happens over time, you see a huge difference. The top 10% users practice so much. You can see here the blue that we have over 50% of our top 10% users you know, run our product seven times or more the first day. So is it, whether that's because they're super motivated to cut a drink or a pill out, or because they're a little OCD and that's just the way they, they live their lives, or because of something else, their personalities and what, what their motivation is, is driving them to practice a lot. And that's what turns them into top 10% users. So again, that helped us a lot to come up with our next you know, business model and set of strategies for helping people use the product. And let's talk about the studies real quick. So we published work um, this year on a sleep study that improves the quality of sleep and the mood um, of the participants. This, uh, this study involved about 100 people. It took almost a year to complete almost 1,400 nights of sleep 
We're, docu we're documented here, control groups, active groups, and basically what we, um, what we published is work that shows we can reduce the number of awakenings, we improve mood and alertness, we reduce anxiety and stress. One week of vibes is comparable to one month of meditation before bedtime or eight weeks of melatonin. Really significant. You know, the kind of stuff that um, you obviously we all hope to see from any technology that is now targeted, healthy, natu more natural than taking a drink or a pill to do the same thing. And in stress, we did a similar thing. Last year we published um, a paper on stress where we lowered daily stress over time. And again, the summary of that is this is about 80 subjects. We ran mood testing as an endpoint, biometric stress tests, and uh, biochemical stress tests with, with uh, biomarkers and saliva. And basically showed that 10 minutes of, of, of Calm Vibe really lowers acute stress, anxiety, and tension, and it's comparable to taking a beta blocker for about, an, basically for an hour of time, it's comparable to a beta blocker, which is incredible. You know, beta blockers are used by musicians extensively. They're used in basically, for, it's really for performance anxiety, for speaking in front of people, um, for interviews. Some people take them on first dates. It's really, you know, people, stress is all over the world and every, we all feel stress, which is why we uh, use products that we shouldn't, uh, you know, routinely. So this is all about, again, the world where we bring wearables to the forefront, to the world where drinks and pills now live, at least in the, as far as think is focused on, that's what we're doing as a digiceutical. And bringing that awareness and bringing people to get comfortable to try and use uh, these, these amazing products. And we will. We're going to be, um, you know, Think is doing it. Halo Neuro is doing it. Nirvana is doing it. Uh, there are more companies entering the field. And to me, this is all about superpowers. Again, it's really about um, having that ability to feel like, hey, I want to be motivated. I want to calm down. I want to be focused. And for the next hour or so, that's exactly what you are. I think that makes the world a better place. And, uh, you know, we're excited to be at the forefront. So thank you for, Tom, to, to invite me here. It's a great to, uh, to join the conference.